Great to have you with us. And in our first story, the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, has given strong indications of government's commitment to ensuring that the local content clause in the Ghana Sino Hydro Master Project Support Agreement will be strictly adhered to. The deal seeks to leverage a fraction of Ghana's bauxite deposit in value added form for some critical infrastructure projects worth $2 billion. As a ceremony to cut sword for the construction of 30 kilometers of the inner city roads in Cape Coast, Dr. Baumia assured chiefs and people of Cape Coast that government is aware of the need to protect indigenous Ghanaian businesses while at the same time creating new opportunities for locals. Richard Kojonyako was there and filed the following report. The sword cutting ceremony for the Cape Coast inner city roads makes it the second time in this week that government is cutting swords for roads captured in the approved lot under phase one of the Ghana Sino Hydro Master Project Support Agreement. Works on a 30 kilometer of roads in the communities in Cape Coast will involve drainage, earthworks, and bituminous alphatic surfacing. Under this project, the roads are to be rehabilitated and upgraded to improve accessibility and quality of life. Communities to benefit from the project are Kotochel, Kwapro, Amamoma, Abra New Community, English Arabic Area, PPAG Area, Emisano, Basakrum, Dunkwakrum, Eifwa, and Kakomdo. Dr. Baomi assured that the necessary arrangements have been made to protect locals in the contract to be executed under the facility. And we are going to assure you that the contract includes local content that is part of the contract with Sino Hydro. Local content has to be respected and will be respected. Our laborers and our uh, artisans, our contractors will all get work to do. And I must say, I am informed that this is the first time we have as much as 30 kilometers of roads being awarded to be done in Cape Coast. It has not happened before in the inner city roads of Cape Coast. The assurance that locals in the project implementation communities will benefit directly from the contract was also backed by the Minister for Roads and Highways, Kwesia Mwakwata. And even under Sano Hydro Master Project Agreement, is incorporated there that 30 percent of local content should go to Ghanaian contractors. The essence of it is to give work to our people and two to ensure technology transfer from these experienced international company to our local people. So, no, no, I want to assure you that this company will not decide to local companies. They have started construction of Tamale Interchange, and we have witnessed a lot of our local people in Tamale have been engaged by Sano Hydro contractors. Chinese ambassador to Ghana, Shi Ting Wang, assured the people of Ghana of a good partnership from their Chinese counterparts. China Ghana friendship enjoy a long history. The old China relation leaders of two countries have forged a profound friendship since NDPP took office in January 2017. Vice President Dr. Baumia says the gesture by government on the Cape Coast inner city roads is a direct response to the numerous concerns raised by residents over the last years on the deplorable states of roads in the city. Richard Kwejonya Akon, Joy News, Cape Coast.